Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to be doing innovation badge on idea.org. So we'll go ahead and start. Okay, so innovation badge. This badge will help you understand the various ways of integrating innovation into a business to ensure that they remain successful. In this badge, you will learn different type of innovation, the importance of an audience insight, popular innovation models, the ingredients of perfect innovation term. What does it mean to be innovative? There we go. Don't you just hate it when you have uh, tongue mess ups? Innovation can mean anything, uh, can mean something quite different from one company to another. It often changes depending on the company's size, type of industry, and how long it has existed. Innovation generally involves doing something differently. For example, changing how customers receive a product, such as cars, or services, such as online banking. True innovation is about making something happen rather than simply having an idea. Types of innovation. These are the four types of innovation. Incremental innovation involves a slight change of existing products and services, i.e. product updated to include a new feature. That's obviously Dyson, obviously. Nope. Okay. Um, so in this instance, it will be Apple because Apple always gets new features. The iPhone 4 released in 2010 was the first iPhone to feature front facing camera which introduced FaceTime and begun the selfie craze. Okay. Breakthrough innovation refers to the large technological advances that propel an existing product or service ahead of the competitors. Dyson? Okay, yeah. After 15 years and 5,127 attempts, that's a lot of vacuum cleaners, just saying. Dyson cracked the market with its new technology, of course, 15 years of highs and lows and the uncommon in the world of innovation. It took Thomas Edish Edison 2,734 attempts to innovate the light bulb. Wow. Okay, so disruptive innovation normally means changing the business model by enhancing something that people use, often through technology, i.e. E e cashless transaction. That's obviously going to be Uber. Uber's creation had trouble Hailing a cab one night, so they came up with a simple idea. Tap a button, get a ride. They used technology to change the price of the market with a new solution to an old problem. It's very rare completely changing markets and even society. It introduces a new product or service category that hasn't existed before. Virgin Galactic. The commercial space race has begun a decade ago as Virgin joined the battle to be the first company to take customers into space, changing tourism and space exploration forever. And they're very, very, very close to having it ready, actually. Okay, customer insight, innovation models, computer culture. Okay, how does innovation work in business today? These are the three main approaches we need to understand. Let's go and press continue. Customer insight. Innovation strategists show companies how to make money through new products and services. Often addressing customers' frustrations with things that are not currently available, Richard Branson's Virgin Atlantic Air Airline business, for example, addressed a number of, number of frustrations with poor air airline service, including putting video screens in the back of seats. Rachel, so your task, Rachel is an innovation strategist working for a large mobile phone company. She has been asked to conduct some customer research before they update their latest heads headset. Answer. She sends. She needs to understand what challenges customers face when using. What do you think Rachel will need to know about the customers to help her decide the new products or services opportunities are they? How people. How how do people typically use the phone? What types of uh, phone. Okay, I'm guessing the needs she needs to know all of them. So I got two correct, and these ones weren't correct. Okay, so we just need to go ahead and copy them. 
you do want to read all the questions yourself, you can do. I'm not going to read every single question. Uh, you can go ahead and read read them if you do want to. Okay. The existing staff act as catalysts for innovation by generating ideas. So that would be like something like a Viva? Viva? Nope. Hacking? Nope. Department of Work for Pensions? Yes, it is. Okay. I didn't actually mean to do that then. I missed what it said, but oh well. Okay. Okay, we've got um, Nike, of course. We've got Viva. No, of course, we've got Hi Ken. Okay, why do I keep doing that? Okay. Okay, good. Continue. Okay, um, so we are going to do trustworthy, collaborative. So we get. So I'm going to guess it's like that. Yes, okay. Keywords trustworthy. Audience insight. Change. Yes. Where should you start? Innovation relies on knowing about the audience insight. Nope. Trustworthy. Unip, umet customer needs. Unmet customer needs. Lab. Flexible, that's it. Flexible. Nope. Trustworthy? I would say it's one of these. Come on. Uh, Audio Insight. thought it was that. There are many types of innovation models available. Viva, uh, uh, Viva successfully use trustworthy, collaborative, flexible, the lab, the lab. Whilst Nike adopted the flexible, collaborative, trustworthy, individual catalyst. Yes. Culture. To innovate your you you need to you need a great team. They should be trustworthy, collaborative, and flexible. In summary, understanding this badge is involved by looking at the key ingredients that a company requires to innovate, starting at the great consumer rights to using the right information model. So basically, have the right people employed. So that's going to do it today. So thank you for watching. My name's Ryan, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.